The leaf spring attaches to the drill's housing and creates the positive detent to lock the clutch in each of its modes, drilling, hammer drilling, and clutch screw driving. It is possible that the leaf spring can wear out after years of use, but the most common reason for replacement is that it is lost while doing another repair. If you still have your leaf spring, but it has fallen out of the drill and you just can't figure out where it goes, this video will help you out with that as well. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the battery. Now remove the rear cover. It's secured with two screws. Now I'll split the two housings. Now remove the brushes. I'll pull the brush spring out of the way, remove the brush clip, and then I can pull the brush from the holder. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. With the brushes removed, now I'll go ahead and lift the gearbox and motor assembly from the drill housing and slide the armature away from the brush card. With the motor and gearbox assembly out of the way, now you can see the leaf spring. It just simply sits inside the housing. I'll pull it out and install the new one. I'll place the switch back into the housings making sure that I line up the change lever with the post on the reversing lever on the switch and making sure that I get the wires tucked out of the way. Now I can place the motor and gearbox assembly back into the housing. This notch on the field needs to line up with a tab on the lower housing. So I'll rotate that around so it's on the side of the assembly. Now I can slide the armature through the brush card and lay the assembly back into the housing. And again, making sure the notch on the field lines up with the housing. Just like that. Now I'll tuck the heat sink back down into the housing. I want to make sure these wires go in front of this plastic post. One last check of all the wires. Don't want anything to get pinched as the housings go together. And now I can replace the housing and secure it. Now we'll replace the brushes. I'll pull the brush wires, or springs, up and out of the way. Install the brush into the holder. Secure its clip to the brush holder and place the spring over the top of the brush. And I do this again on the other side. And now I'll just reattach the rear cap. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.